Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Soumya and this video is on the concept R selected species and K selected species. So before that, I will just give a basics so that you can understand this concept better. First concept is that the first one is carrying capacity. So it represented by K. Okay, let us uh, know what is this carrying capacity means. Carrying capacity means the number of organisms that can be supported by resource available in a habitat is called as carrying capacity. So make you to understand, I will just give an example here. For example, uh, while you are sitting in a classroom, there will be a bench, right? Or a uh, bench will be there. So in that one bench, how many people can sit? Only four to five people can uh, sit, right? So if there is uh, any uh, more than if uh, five or six or seven members are trying to fit in that, so they will fall down. So that actually represents in a bench only five people or max four to five people can sit over there. So that is the carrying capacity of that bench. Okay. Are you understood now? So that, uh, uh, that bench carrying capacity is only to four to five peoples that is actually called as carrying capacity so now i will repeat the definition once again here the number of organisms that can be supported by resources available in a habitat means think this is an habitat okay uh, this is one habitat in this habitat the number of organisms can be lived can be survived okay by the available species okay that is actually uh, its carrying capacity of that habitat Okay, so I'm hoping uh, with the example, you might have understood the carrying capacity here. Now we will move on to the another concept, reprodu reproductive type. Okay, there are two types of reproductive type. First one is same male paras. Second one is etereo paras. Okay, first we will look at the first one, same male paras. Same male paras means organisms that reproduce only once per time. Okay, or you can say organisms with, with one reproductive episode per life. Okay, for example, example for this is uh, insects, bamboos, grasses, salamons are the example for the CML paras uh, reproductive type. Moving on to the second type that is iteroparas uh, paras or iteropara parity. So, uh, if you have to uh, look at the definition here, organisms that reproduce throughout the lifetime are many reproductive episodes per lifetime. So, those type of organisms, uh, those type of organisms are called iteroparous organisms or, or it is a reproductive type is iteroparity or iteroparous. Example for this is mammals. So I'm hoping with example you might have understood the concept better. So mammals, so they can in their lifetime they can produce, uh, they can have a many reproductive uh, period, okay, many, um, many reproduction, okay. Some organisms they will undergo for the reproduction only once in their lifetime, okay. These are the two types here. Now, uh, moving on to the, the, the actual concept that is R selected species and K selected species. Here, the concept of R uh, selected species and K selected species, this actually links the, links the population dynamics, okay, population dynamics to life history, okay. It links the population uh, dynamics to the life history. And in environment, we can see the variable and unpredictable environment. So, if you take one environment, we can't we can't pr uh, predict the uh, environment here. It it is never been uh, never uh, never been uh, uh, it it will never be constant. Okay, it will be always fluctuating. And up, uh, because of their un variables and unpredictable environment and uh, unpredictable conditions, even the population density is also going to fluctuate. So, for this type of environment how the species are going to um, adjust, how the people, uh, uh, sorry, how the species are going to adapt themselves, how they are making the uh, changes by themselves, how they are going to living in this, in this environment, those actually categorized as a R selected species and K selected species here. Means these conditions select for a high intrinsic growth rate, okay. This type of uh, condition selects a high intrinsic growth rate. For example, what is growth rate? Uh, we'll just go for the again. We will go for the basics here. Growth growth rate. What is growth rate? Growth rate means uh, means it refers to the percentage of change of specific variable. It means a specific species within a specific time period. Okay, growth rate. Andre one the specific time only. One those if you take a variable, any type of variable. If you take one uh, organisms, other growth rate. It may be a number, it may be increase in the size, increase in the length. So, in the specific time, that is growth rate. Right? Okay? 
next moving on to the, moving on to the uh, what they are saying here these conditions selects for a high intrinsic growth rate first we will look at what is intrinsic growth to set growth rate here intrinsic means inside growth okay uh, if you have to uh, define it theoretically here the maximum rate of increase of a population per individual okay that is called as in intrinsic growth rate so this condition uh, take, uh, selects for a high intrinsic growth rate which is achieved by a distinctive life history strategy consisting of a rapid development and then a small body size early production and uh, female parity and a sh short life span okay and species with the with this reproductive pattern overcome the massive loss of their offspring by producing so many unprotected young okay that a few will survive to reproduce many offspring to begin the uh, cycle again what happens here for this condition what they are saying for this type of condition the uh, species with uh, uh, rapid development and small body size and early reproduction and reproductive type should be same male par parity same male parasity means um, here the reproduction uh, reprodu these uh, species are going to reproduce only once per lifetime okay though and a sh uh, short lifespan so these type of uh, species andre for example if they produce uh, they are going for the one time reproduction in their lifetime but they are going to produce so many species for example you take a uh, fishes okay if they are going for the one one time reproduction by one time reproduction they are going to produce a many like thousands of uh, uh, generations of strings right so that what happens in that some of them are going to survive some of them are going to die because of unpredictable environmental conditions so these those organisms those uh, uh, fishes which are survive they will start the next generation so that they will maintain the uh, their population here so that's why actually these type of species actually called as r selected species okay here r selected species means here r represents the reproduction remember this this i am seeing the key points here how you have to remember the uh, points easily for the examination here so r represents the reproduction or reproductive rate okay and here r selected species are opportunist i am hoping you know the meaning of word opportunist okay they are opportunist now so now we will understand the k selected species here k selected species means actually k represents carrying capacity i just now explained what is carrying capacity carrying capacity means the number of organisms that can be supported by resources available in a habitat on the other hand if the if there is a relatively constant or predictable environment conditions in that conditions it is going to allow a population to reach its carrying capacity that population what it will do this population or it, this environmental condition allows a population to reach its carrying capacity okay maximum carrying capacity and does a high average population density so it will reach as a high population density uh, that means that the, this concept says that these conditions selects for a k selected species means which is achieved ad, achieved by slow development a large body size delayed reproduction and heteroparasity heteroparasity means uh, like uh, many rep, uh, reproduces many times many times per time okay means here the organism that reproduces reproduce throughout lifetime or many reproductive episodes per per lifetime so the organisms who have under long lifespan organisms who have all these characters just now what i have said those actually called as k selected species so environment in that condition when the environment is predictable when it is a relatively constant environmental conditions that time k selected species will be selected okay so uh, uh, this is what the concept here let us understand more uh, in depth here r selected species actually these r selected species uh they will prefer they will uh, they will choose uh, quantity over quality okay here in our certain species quantity will be more okay and they are variable okay uh, if you uh, have to say the definition here species these species are driven by natural selection to maximize their rate of increase okay or represents the that reproductive capacity and example for this is insects algae bacteria rodents rabbits grasses weeds 
fishes oysters mosquitoes bamboos salamons etc you can give so many examples here these are the major example and more importantly you have to remember this i will tell uh, tell why you have to remember uh, uh, for all selected species you have to remember the insects i will tell that keynote why you have to remember this because this will will help you to face the exam so watch the video full i will explain this all these things in detail in just in just for in next 5 minutes okay mm. next k selected species here k selected species actually they will give more importance to the quality than the quantity and it is always at the equilibrium okay this will be variable okay and this will be at the equilibrium the definition here species adapted by natural selection to live at relatively constant populations levels at or nearly carrying capacity okay example for this is mammals elephants humans giraffes bats and lemurs okay example for this you have to remember mammals or just uh, remember humans okay or case selected species humans or selected species insects okay remember these two, these are important or selected species insects case selected species humans okay now we will move on to we will understand this one with uh, better now we will understand the uh, table okay by this table now, first i will start with the first one here this is the serial number and these are the characteristics and these are the characters of the all selected species these are all selected species and this is about the k selected species here okay and r represents the reproductive rate okay and k selected represents the carrying capacity okay remember r represents the reproduction you should have to fix this in mind in your brain r when you see the r reproductive rate when you see the k carrying capacity and you should know the definition here carrying capacity definition here okay and uh, if you remember the example you will remember it very easily okay now we will move on to the first one here life span or generation time i guess you know the meaning of what is life span here okay life span and also the very very important keynote i said I, while explaining this i told you to remember the examples here so this one will help you to understand this ta uh, table column uh, very easily when you remember when you heard the or selected species you should have to remember a uh, example that is insects okay insects santa mind you should quickly uh, or selected species insects okay quickly take this one in example in your mind then k selected species mammals okay if you, you can take the example of humans as well okay so these two you should be remembered okay first one life span life span when you for our selected species uh, if you if you look at the so idana ee tara now you can understand this with this example very easily so you can remember it for a longer time and even in your examination you don't get confused if you remember with an example with all these characters with an example okay life span for all selected species life span will be short and for case selected species life span will be long how for if you take the insect okay when comparing it to the humans insects life span will be short in compared to the mammals the in in, uh, in mammals the life span will be more like around 70 to 100 years insect will be very less that's why life span is short and life span of the case selected species is long okay now i am now I, i feel like after giving this an example i'm hoping you are you are feeling easy you are understanding and you are uh, able to uh, write this examination uh, very well second example development okay how will be the development of or selected species and case selected species here or skeleton or selected species fast okay k selected species slow if you take the uh, human remember the human year so it takes very long time from it will goes through the uh, child okay and the teenage adulthood and then middle age and then uh, old age like that okay here the uh, uh, because of short life span even the uh, the development is also very fast here development is slow coming to the body size if you remember the insect says how will be the size of the insect small mammal large okay and then reproductive age reproductive age so reproductive age represents at what age okay those uh, organisms will come to a reproductive stage you know that uh, in humans there are two uh, reproductive ages Re reproductive age and non reproductive age okay so in um, reproductive age is early in our selected species late in k selected species now moving on to the reproductive rate okay are you understand the rate i guess just now i said what is rate here growth rate you, we are going to uh, by taking the percentage with time we are uh, measuring that is actually represent the rate here so reproductive rate is high here high reproductive rate and here there is a low reproductive rate okay high reproductive rate why you are saying high reproductive rate see for one reproduction the insects 
which are going to produce is more but here in low reproductive rate for example if you take the mammal so the the human is able to give him birth only one okay one species right only one uh, child can born or maximum two okay in rare cases extreme cases it will be more but as a law as we know there will be one child but here it will be more this is because even though these are very um, like weaker ones if the rate of production is high then for the unpredictable environmental condition some will die someone will will uh, survive and uh, so that's how it is helped to maintain the generation here it will help to maintain the population here okay like that so our selected the reproductive rate is high case selected the reproductive rate is low then reproductive type same l paras case selected species ethereo paras same l paras means only one reproduction per time this is many reproduction per time okay next clutch size clutch size is nothing but the brood okay brood size uh, or litter size here the brood size will be large and brood size will be small in case of uh, case selected species okay like this same thing insects and mammals na uh, remember these things and go through all these things it will be easy to understand moving on to the next one size of offsprings the size when you look at the insects the size will be small okay the size of the mammals will be large for example for case selected species i said that i have given the example of elephant when you look at them there will be very large okay sorry here it is they will be very large next energy for reproduction here for insects high amount of energy is needed efficient uh, high energy amount of is efficient and here low amount of uh, energy is efficient okay coming to the next one rate of maturity of offspring so when the rate of maturity of offspring is going to explain it is high okay rate of maturity is high and rate of maturity in case of other species is uh, is low okay next next one is population size population size it will be always be variable alwa so just now i explained for uh, how i explained for this brood size like that population size will be variable okay means number of offsprings okay large small here the rate uh, the population size will be variable we can't guess how many but there are so many will be produced variable and here always constant okay and moving on to the next one survivorship curve 3 survivorship curve for case selected species is first and two and for this one to understand Uh, i will i will recommend to go through this concept that is survivorship curve so that you will understand uh, for the r selected species and k selected species because uh, because this concept itself uh, this concept itself is different here okay for make you to understand just i will give an introduction here for r this is the survivorship curve okay this is the first type survivorship curve and this is the second type and this is the third type first type is low mortality rate mortality rate means death rate okay uh, third one represents the high mortality rate and here the mortality rate will be constant okay and this axis represents the number of surviving and this represents the age here okay and here low mortality okay low mortality and type 2 first and two actually these are for what these two are for the first and two are for the k selected species if you remember k selected species humans okay so low mortality rate and it is constant okay first two type when you take the mortality death rate when you look at the humans it will be always like a low mortality rate or it may be constant so three type represents the r selected species okay represents the r selected species okay this how it is you should if you understood thoroughly you should go through this concept but this is the concept of the survivorship curve here now moving on to the next uh, type here Mot motility of the young motility means movement okay motility means movement motile mo movement okay motility of the young is high motility of the young is low in case of k selected species high in r selected species then mortality okay mortality mortality means death okay mortality it depends upon the density independent it is okay density independent here mortality is density dependent okay next parental care parental care none are low parental care is high in k selected species none are low in r selected species high in k selected species for example parental care when you take the insects or fishes for example so they are going to lay the egg and they don't they don't show any parental care because the uh, offsprings are more here there are too many offsprings okay but here in case of case selected species the offspring is only one or two so they can give the 
parental care high parental care they will go and the reason here this that they will worry so if there is only one child in a family so they will give a more love more care because only one is there for their generation to pass on okay but here there are so many uh, offerings are there so they doesn't care much okay the parental care will be low or not and uh, here in case of kale selected species it is, it is high and then competitive ability in case of insects uh, that is our selected species is poor and in case of mammals or case selected species it is stronger now moving on to the next one metabolic rate okay next one is metabolic rate metabolic rate will be high and in case of case selected species it is low in our selected species it is high in case of case selected species it is low and then dispersal ability okay dispersal ability so i am hoping these are common english term you are understanding these things okay dispersal ability if you take the insects okay they, they can go anywhere it is good okay in case of case selected species it is poor and coming to the type of habitat okay habitat usually for insects it always feels like their environment or their in, uh, uh, habitat will be disturbed okay for case selected species or mammals it is always stable okay the last one the last characteristics that is level of organization the level of organization it comes low and the level of organization in case of mammals it is high okay i'm hoping that uh, you have to remember this whole chart uh, for the examination okay uh, of definitely there will be a question in a competitive exam in case that and net okay mm, they will ask a question on this on the r selected species and k selected species you should be thorough mm, in this concept okay i'm hoping uh, like i have shared the knowledge that i have have and i'm hoping this knowledge will be helpful to face your examination well uh, if you uh, if you uh, uh, if you like this video if you like my effort um uh, please do uh, share and subscribe. Uh, thank you everyone.